Hello and welcome to this very brief introduction to the mounts. Now the mounts correspond to the planets, the astrological planets, and they also represent different areas of our lives and they are also in different areas of our hands. So going around the hand, we have the moon, Luna, Venus, Mars, positive and negative, Jupiter, Saturn, the Sun, Mercury, Rahu, and Ketu. So even though those are called mounts, Sometimes a mount can be a valley. For instance, the center of our hand is a valley, but it's still called a mount. In order to work well, a mount has to be balanced. Now, everything in nature has to be balanced, whether it is a river, if it has too much water, it's going to be flooded. If it doesn't have enough water, there is going to be a drought, or we may be too hot, or we may be too cold, so we like to be in between. Or if you think of blood pressure, high blood pressure is not good, and low blood pressure is not good either. So we always like to be in a balanced area. And this is what we are going to look for in every part of our hand. So now I am going to start describing each mount very briefly, because this is a very brief introduction to the mount, and each mount will be covered later on in future videos. So let's start with the moon. In order to see the moon well, it's better to see it on a print because you will see how much ink is going to appear on the print. It stands for our perception of reality, our inspiration, our emotions, and our imagination. If you think of the reflection of reality, you can think of the moon as a reflection on a lake, for instance. If the moon is reflected perfectly, we have the right perception of reality. If there is too much water or not enough water, then the perception is not going to be as accurate. So when the moon is balanced, we are happy to live and we feel a sense of gratitude. When there is too much energy on the moon, it means that our senses are being overstimulated. So we are restless. We need to be busy all the time. We have a wild imagination, and sometimes, depending on the way the rest of the hand is, this can lead to hallucinations. Now, if there is not enough energy on Luna, then we are more focused on our own little world, our own reality. So we are focused on our own thoughts and we are not interested in the rest of the world. We become very indifferent to other people or anything happening outside. And we are full of fear and we are very insecure. Now let's talk about Venus, the ball of the thumb. Now Venus, just like Venus represents love, beauty, and the senses. When Venus is balanced, there is a great potential to love and to be loved. We are kind, we are bubbling with joy, we have an appreciation for nature and for the art, and we like to live harmoniously. When there is too much energy on Venus, the focus is on the senses. So we have too much focus on the senses. So this might be food, it might be desire, it might be sex, it might be everything related to the senses. When there is not enough energy on Venus, then we are losing our zest for life. So we are feeling exhausted all the time and we may also be disappointed with life. Now let's talk about Mars. So Mars is in two parts, 
negative between the thumb and the index and positive on the other side of the hand. So it stands for our energy. So Mars negative is going to be more physical energy and Mars positive is going to be more our mental energy. But Mars is basically like a good soldier. It is supposed to be ready for action and also ready to protect us. It's not supposed to think. So when it is balanced, it means we don't take anything personally. We are just like a good soldier. When there is too much energy on Mars negative, then we become aggressive. And this can lead to anger and this can lead to violence and this can be physical violence or it can be maybe violence in speaking. When there is not energy in Mars, well, Mars doesn't have enough energy, so we feel drained. We lack energy, we feel like a victim or we can be passive aggressive. Let's talk about Jupiter. Now Jupiter is the mouth and the index finger. So it's showing the direction. So it shows the direction where we are going. Jupiter shows how we direct our ambition, our sense of purpose, what we want to accomplish in life. So Jupiter is the leader. So it shows how we direct our ambition, our sense of purpose, and generally our leadership. When Jupiter is balanced, we are able to realize our unique talents. We have a strong intellect and we have good leadership skills. When there is too much energy in Jupiter, there is basically too much ambition. So we are interested in power. We are interested in prestige and sometimes we can become ruthless. When there is not enough energy, in Jupiter, we lack confidence. We may have very poor self-esteem. We don't have enough motivation, so it is very difficult for us to achieve goals. Now let's look at Saturn. Saturn is in the center of the hand. So it is actually our balance, our sense of right and wrong. It stands for discernment. Saturn represents our ability to think, to go deeply, to understand the deeper meaning of life, and also to create strategy to be organized. So the typical Saturn would be the thinker by Rodin. When Saturn is balanced, then we are serious, we are disciplined, we are organized, and we are able to think strategically. When there is too much energy in Saturn, then we become too serious. And it's just like a, a Saturnine personality. We are very uh, dark and somber and we don't enjoy life. If Saturn doesn't have enough energy, then we don't think enough. So we may be impatient or we may lack common sense, or maybe we may do things or say things that we will probably regret later on. Our next finger is the ring finger or sun. So the ring finger, the sun finger, is basically our potential to shine like the sun. It stands for self-reliance, for charisma, for compassion for magnetism and for sharing. When the sun is balanced, we are very sincere and authentic. We are very genuine. We are humble and we feel for others. When there is too much energy on the sun, we may be brilliant, but also arrogant. And we could be also demanding and intimidating. When there is not enough energy on the sun, then we depend on others. So we may lack courage, we may lack conviction, we are dependent, and we may also be timid. Now the last finger and the pad of flesh under, mount, is Mercury. So 
Mercury stands for self-expression and for communications. It is also our capacity to be detached and objective, like a little bit Buddha-like, so we don't get attached to fame and money and what other people think. When Mercury is balanced, it shows a good communicator. It also shows a good sense of humor and somebody who is not too concerned about what other people think. When there is too much energy on Mercury, we may use our communication ability for name or fame. And sometimes this may lead to being not too honest. When there is not enough energy on Mercury, then we are very preoccupied by what other people think. We may also be innocent and gullible and believe what other people say. And we may appear reserved and uninhibited. The next mount is the center of the hand, and it is called Rahu, which is the Indian name for the North Node. Now, Rahu is a little bit like a control panel of the other mounts, and it shows how we deal with our present environment. When it is balanced, we are aware of our actions and how they may interfere with others and with our future. We are also very much aware of the present moment. When there is too much energy in Rahu, then we are very preoccupied with our own personal need. We are not taking responsibility for our actions and we are not learning from the past. When there is not enough energy in Rahu, we have very little drive. We are indifferent to our surroundings and we may actually lose opportunities. And the final mount I'm going to talk about is Ketu, which in Indian means the South Node. And it stands for our past. And basically it is like a, a, a past bank account of who we are what we did before to arrive where we are today. And that's why I like to represent it like the different rings of a tree. When K2 is balanced, we are able to deal with the past and resolve past issues. So we have a better present. When there is too much energy on K2, we have a very strong physical drive and we are not too concerned with spiritual issues or anything to do with the balance between body, mind and heart. We tend not to consider consequences of our acts. When there is not energy in K2, we are very timid and afraid. We see life as a challenge and we are totally overwhelmed by it. So this concludes my very brief introduction to the mounts. Each mount will be analyzed in more details in future videos. So see you in the next video.